him forever. Yeah. I'm gonna pose him that way. Probably climbing up. Our really good pain. Oh yeah. Shows that that was coming. We get. Oh wow, wow. You know what I'm just gonna. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another unboxing of a Hot Toy six scale figure. And today we have Captain Marvel deluxe version. Um, MMS 522. She looks epic. Let's look at the box. And you know what? I, I noticed that the box of Marvel is, I don't know, a lot better than Star Wars. What is happening with that, right? Um, we have some warning in the back, like I always say. You can choke on this. Not edible, okay, guys? Do not eat this. This is a collectible, okay? Let's slide the cover over. Let's get, jump right on it. Boom. Now, I know the deluxe version, I mean the regular version, does not come with a jacket right there. And or the little kitty cat over there. Forgot the name. Oh, I don't remember the name of that cat. Let me know in the comment below if you do remember. Because I clearly, honestly, do not remember. You would imagine I would have looked it up before doing an unboxing. But, you know, that would have been like stage, I guess. Or... But I'm opening this box for the first time with you guys. So we're both going to be like surprised or I don't know, amazed or not surprised or not amazed on how she's going to look like. Right? Let's go. Here we go. Same box type as. Widow, Nebula, and I want to say Captain Marvel, right? I know she comes with a few accessories and she lights up, right? I didn't like the new Captain Marvel, the one with the short hair. I figured this one is a good representation of Captain Marvel both Infinity War and Endgame because she did show up in the beginning looking like this. She didn't show up with the short hair until the very end of um, Endgame. And plus, we get this head sculpt and we got that cool head sculpt right there. With the Mohawk, I can see that we already have a accessory straight right here. Let's get that baby out. Um, clamshell style. Um, at this point, I'll get all the accessories because if not, it's gonna take forever. And we're gonna take a close look at each of them. Man, I'm like overwhelmed with all the hands and kind of like flame effect that she came with. But yeah, let's get all the accessories out and then we'll take a close look. All right, guys. Here are all the accessories. There is a lot, right? It took me a minute to get them all out of the packaging. Um, but there's a lot. And I'm glad. She's a deluxe. But you know what? For a deluxe, she wasn't that... Um, she's priced really, really well for everything that she came with. Um, she came with the dynamic um, stands here. that um, We've seen this before. Um... Just like for the 501st Troopers and um, I believe who else came with this? Maybe Spider-Man? Yeah, definitely Spider-Man. But um, definitely cool because she does tend to like flight around or float around. So that will definitely come in handy. Here's a stand. Marvel Captain, Amer uh, Captain Marvel. Not America. Carol Danvers, nice, nothing crazy, nice stand, definitely use that. I like it when we get stands like this, especially for characters that, um, you know, doesn't really just stand there like uh, like other characters. 
we got some batteries I get excited sometimes and not excited because I know they can be a pain in the butt to install but you know what I don't know um, let's look at uh, her hands she came with a set of relaxed hands already on her so besides that you also get a pair of translucent closed fist that looks really nice they are definitely translucent I like the blowing and the gold of that um, she also came with three just your hands mm. the glove looks nice the details definitely there let me see if I can get it close enough so you guys can see all the details in there no spare hot toys do not mess around with their paint apps you already notice hang loose or rock on or I don't know hang loose I guess or rock on I don't even know guys I don't even know and this is you know what this is definitely a punch catching kind of hand right hmm I'm definitely gonna post that one this one is I don't know like a f mm. I don't even know a high five high five boom a regular glove close fist kind of like the translucent one but this one is not translucent obviously man love, 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 love. Yeah, looks good we have a gold and reddish gauntlet right there that you probably put on her once you start um, putting the um, when you start putting the um, effects kind of like this pair of um, blue and f blue fire kind of thing accessories um, they all look pretty much amazing right I'm sure when we look at the the manual that is boring like I always say but it's very very important because it tells exactly how to install it I know that it kind of I kind of picked in there and right off the bat they told you to be careful with this because this is very this is sharp if you're not careful you can like when I go like that right now that, that kind of sting a little bit um, so this is what is this one called this is called um, a yellow colored blasting I guess gauntlets right there and this one is called um, yellow and blue fire accessory I guess and this one is called a blue fire effect accessories that you attach on the hands and came with a mohawk that goes speaking of that let's look at this head sculpt it says right on the manual do not try to detach this because it doesn't detach because captain america it does you can replace those he came with like three this one you can't do that with but this one you just replace this one and you put this on and um, you can see there's an LED light right there so I'm probably gonna have to move, remove this kind of like Kylo Ren ish right and you install the batteries right there but we'll light her up later on after I install the battery and guess what I remember the name of the cat is Goose the Cat boom no I didn't I looked it up I cheated I couldn't remember for the life of me that cat looks it looks like a cat but definitely something's off like he's an alien cat because even though he has all the texture or the likeness of a cat you can tell that there's something up with this cat goosey 
Goose the cat. Is it say, the, please don't tell me it doesn't say goose there. It does say you know, But I couldn't see that until I looking through the camera right now. Now I can see. She also came with his her Air Force jacket. Right? It feels plasticky, stretchy. You can probably even really put it on her. We have to check that out. What else did I miss? Let's look at this thing. We have to. Because I did kind of check out, and that's how I knew that the lower face of the Mohawk sculpt is not. Okay, shows you how to remove, replace the heads, where the battery goes. And what else? Battery goes, yeah, battery goes in the hand for. We'll light her up later on after. What is that thing called? That called thing is called the energy blasting accessory. This one. And this is really sharp, guys. Like I said, calm down when you're playing with that one. Um, how you install the flexible post. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, see? Pokey, pokey. Careful. What does that say? Tip of the hair sculpture is very sharp. So calm down. See? Man, this Captain Marvel is dangerous, I guess. Man, you can really... Man, did I stab my... No, so if you start seeing like red, I probably poke myself. I didn't even know it. Oh yeah, and it also shows you how to install the gauntlets and effects and all that stuff. So yeah, this thing, yeah, you have to check it out. All right, let's get uh, Carol out here and see how she looks like. And there she is, guys. Boom. I thought at first she's had a cape. I'm like, man, I don't remember her wearing a cape. What in the world? But it's not. Let's get that out. Is it really sharp? It is, guys. It is sharp. Let's get the boots, see if it's easy. Okay, now why can't they just do it like, wait a minute. Do it like this for all of them. Some of them are like really hard to take off. There you go. Slide this one on the hand. Let's see if I can. What? Okay. So it was easy on the, the boots, but they made it up. They made they they made up for the the hand here. This one is out of controly. Ah, toys, really, really. What is that? An alarm went off. Thanos is outside. All right, let's get this hand off. Hot toy, she's killing me with this. Oh, look, there's the, probably, the LED thing in there. All right, I already know you probably have to remove the head to get Carla Ren's cape. <laughs> Out of there. All right, let's look at the sculpt. How do they do that? Every time she looks, the hair you can already see. Look at that. Insane. I'm glad she didn't come with a Barbie hair. Those little real hair thing. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like that. And it's going to be hard to pose. But the texture and the paint app. And those eyes. Guys. I don't know. She looks good. I can see it. I can see. I can see her name. I can see her uh, face. That's cool. Okay. Let's pop her head back up. 
man the belt it's all attached obviously this is all gonna be removable but uh, let's look at all the details on her um, costume here I really dig this one better than the her final look or suit at the end of Endgame you know what I mean the short hair was not dating at all but the the details on her boot wait is it two piece yeah it is but this piece here is kind of like blocking it from from kind of moving at all so you get some movements but not a whole lot careful with the knee but that far the elbow mm, that's pretty good that far not too much on the head because of the hair sculpt but enough but guys the level of details you already know hot toys all throughout from top to bottom they have it they got it spot on it looks really really nice guys the gold and the blue and the red they, they it just looks so nice i don't know which one do you guys like do you guys like the new suit or this one i'm digging this one overall i'm digging this one this version um over the the one the end of uh end game there yeah cool so let's i don't know let's let me install the batteries and um we'll we'll see how she looks like i'll turn off the light and see how she looks like with um lit up like that all right there's no um other way but to um turn the led on because it's kind of the switch is kind of hidden inside the gauntlet there so it's lit up right now so that's how it looks lit up but obviously i got a lot of studio lights on her right now so I will turn her off, turn the lights off, so you guys can kind of see. There's one light off. Let's turn this big one off so you can kind of see how bright that is. That looks pretty bright, right? She looks epic. So let's do another pose of her, um, of her just another well i'll put more accessories for you guys and we'll see how she looks like okay there's i was gonna take off the the hand part but you know what at this point let's just show you guys every different variations that you can do with her with the with the lighter fixture i mean feature let me uh, turn off this light again Yo, 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 you know what? You guys better be liking this video because I'll, man, yo, subscribe now because, man, I'm sweating with all this hard work. Now, never mind. All right, let me um turn this back on. That looks epic, though. That looks nice. That looks bright. And the Mohawk, it has two LEDs, one like specifically for the eyes and one and then for the the headpiece. I don't know. This might be the first figure I post with no head sculpt. I'm really impressed with this one. All right, let's go to another pose. All right, here's another one, but with the, the bluing effect, lightning effect there. Um, I don't know if that's going to light up though, because I don't, there's no LED lighting that up, but maybe when I turn off the light, it will kind of like, I don't know. No, it doesn't really do much. I mean, I guess if you you have her display with no 
lights on, but yeah, you can't really, maybe a little bit, but LED doesn't really go up there. All right, let's put on the, the blasting one, the, the Sharpie ones, and see what we got. Quick, before I put the, this bad boys in, I forgot that we had the translucent um, set of fists there. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna look. I mean, I guess, I don't know. We almost didn't need the translucent fist, right? I mean, you can see the details better in person than than you do um, in camera. So, yeah, I don't know. Might not be the best um, version of the the feature. All right, let's put the uh, the blasting gauntlet. Okay, guys, um, these things are so heavy that she can't even support it she can't even hold her hands up you know what i mean she can't she can't even do it but nonetheless let's she she can't even stand um we might have to use a the stand to hold her up on this one because yeah this one, but turn. Let's turn off the light and see how that looks. Um, it looks okay, obviously, but she can't. It's so heavy that she can't even hold it up, and I, I don't see it being, in the long run, be good for the joints too. So, yeah, that one is a fail. It doesn't live. It doesn't even look good lit up. Um, I guess, I guess, if you're looking this way, right, straight on. But other than that, she definitely has hard time um, holding, holding it up. Yeah, it's it's starting to go down slowly but surely. So let's get her into. My final post and uh, I'll give you guys my final thought on a figure. I don't know guys, she might be the very first Hot Toys that I own that I'm going to display without the actual health sculpt, man. I don't know. Let's turn off the light. Man, that looks, let's check it out. Guys. I don't know. Uh, wow. That mohawk is so bright. It looks epic. It looks epic. All right. Um, hmm, what can I say bad about this figure? Besides this, I'm going to take a point away. This one is just so heavy. I don't know what they were thinking about. We almost didn't need this. I don't know. This is just so heavy that she can't even hold it up. Um, in the long run, you might even damage your joints there or I don't know. So do not use this. I don't know, unless you're gonna rig it up with some wire to make her arm a little bit more stronger to hold them up, but that's a no. But from the figure to the amount of accessories we got, um, and for the price point, I don't know. I might give another point back. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I don't know. Which one do you guys like? Do you like this version? Do you like the new version? I definitely am glad that I picked up this version because this version is just, I don't know, so good. With this look, um, I don't know. Let's pop the head out. Put the head sculpt. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how she would look flying around with that head sculpt. Maybe not bad. Maybe not bad. Right? Here we go. Let's check it out. I guess not bad. Not bad. 
She looks good. Right? She looks good. That head sculpt looks really, really good. So I guess, I guess I'll, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not new to the channel, you already know you're epic. And like always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the floor.